हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंजेस इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू हैव रेड अबाउट दीज टॉपिक्स राइट बट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंजेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फिजिकल चेंज इन योर डेली लाइफ यू ऑब्जर्व लॉट्स ऑफ चेंजेस अराउंड यू लाइक कुकिंग ऑफ फूड ब्रेकिंग ऑफ मैथ स्टेक ब्रेकिंग ऑफ ग्लास बर्निंग ऑफ कैंडल ब्रेकिंग ऑफ टेबल फोल्डिंग ऑफ पेपर एक्सेट्रा सो दीज all are divided into two groups physical and chemical so physical changes are those changes in which only the physical state of the object changes or we can say no new substance is formed so what are physical changes in which no new substances formed so if we talk about a paper when we fold it does it convert into polythene or other plastic no it doesn't convert into anything it remains same paper only the size has been changed due to the folds right so this is a physical change most of the physical changes are reversible that means they can be undone just like folding of paper if i fold a paper i can unfold it right and obtain my original paper so this can be reversible right let's talk about the physical sorry chemical changes so what are chemical changes in which new substance is formed those changes in which new substance is formed like if i talk about burning of paper if i burn a paper it get converted into ash right so that ash is different substance and i cannot convert ash into paper that means chemical changes are irreversible so most of the chemical changes are irreversible let's do an experiment which shows a chemical change so i have a test tube and some zinc granules so i have zinc granule and test tube i am pouring this zinc granule into the test tube all right now i have hydrochloric acid also all right right now this test tube is cold to touch i can touch it okay now i'm pouring this diluted hydrochloric acid into the zinc granules can you see the bubbles raising up and the smoke coming out of it this shows that some of the reaction is taking place right a chemical change is occurring now let's check this out which gas is coming out right so i am telling you something that hydrogen gas give a pop sound when a burnt match stick came close to it so i am testing it with a match stick so this is the pop sound you have seen that means the gas is releasing is hydrogen gas all right and these bubble shows that some reaction is taking place and right now if i touch this test tube i can feel hotness that means this chemical reaction is releasing heat also all right so from this experiment we got to know something about the chemical changes what are these points or these characteristics so first is evolution of gas 
that means when the chemical change occur some gases are evolved or some gases are released from it just like we have seen when zinc granule is reacted with hydrochloric acid i have taken hydrochloric acid it get converted into zinc oxide and hydrogen gas is released sorry zinc chloride and hydrogen gas is released and if i denote it by the symbols so zinc is denoted by zn hcl is denoted by hcl i have taken two because hydrogen gas is never alone so h2 will be released this is hydrogen gas let's take another example also if we burn coal in the presence of oxygen right carbon dioxide gas co2 carbon dioxide gas is released during this reaction when we breathe when we respire we also release carbon dioxide gas that respiration is also a chemical change because it help in uh, providing energy from the food obtain energy from the food okay so next point is evolution of heat when a chemical change occur heat is also evolved or we can say heat is also released all right as i have shown you that when i mix hydrochloric acid into the zinc granule the test tube become hot due to the chemical reaction all right so we can write the same reaction and plus heat revolve evolution of heat also right next is smell when a chemical reaction occur smell is also released ye this you can see at your home also like when the fruits or when the food get rotted it gives you false smell so that is also a chemical reaction next is production of sound i've showed you something that when the gas was releasing and i have taken the burning match stick to it it gives a pop sound right so this means when the chemical reaction or chemical change occur it gives it produce sound also the other example of it is crackers you use cracker at diwali right so these cracker when you burn them provide or produce sound okay that is also a chemical reaction last but not the least is color or we can say change in color so how it come into play have you ever noticed that the iron object get brown when they are left in open they get brown right so that brown part is known as rust right so this rusting occurs due to the moisture and oxygen when the iron is left open in moisture and oxygen it get converted into rust okay so this is also a chemical reaction or we can say a chemical change this rusting can be prevented by some of the methods let's talk about the methods to prevent rusting
so how can we prevent rusting you have seen your home that the iron object are painted right you paint your father or the uh, labor paint the iron object with the paint or grease right to protect it from the rusting next we can do is grease grease also grease also prevent the iron to be get rusted next is alloy alloy what is alloy alloy is the mixture of different metals have you seen steel ever get rusted no why because this is a steel is a alloy which doesn't get rusted but it is made from iron so alloy are the mixture of different metals which also used to prevent the rusting next is galvanization so what is galvanization galvanization is a process of covering the metal with other metal all right covering the metal with other metal so if we cover the iron with the other metal we can prevent rusting and we can prevent that metal get into rust okay let's have a look on the uses of chemical and physical changes we know that physical changes are very important in our daily life why because due to the physical changes we are able to mold our objects like if i talk about television television is made up of plastic or iron right so if we are not able to mold them we are not able to give any shape right so physical changes are very important to mold the objects into our desired things right but chemical changes are also very important in our daily life why because chemical changes gives most of the thing in our daily life our cooking our food is also due to the chemical change we cook our food right burning of coal burning of coal gives rise to heat and that heat is converted into electricity right chemical changes in laboratories are also very important for making medicines right so what are the uses in making medicines for the generation of electricity cooking of food is also a chemical change sorry and many ingredients are also made of chemical changes right crystallization is also a part of chemical change it gives uh, it uh, raises with the saturated solution when you dissolve the copper sulfate or the sugar or salt these are the salts i'm talking about sugar if i talk about sugar when we dissolve sugar into the water and keep on adding it a point come when the sugar stops dissolving it that is saturated solution now this saturated solution is left for some time and the sugar crystal came into the bottom of the solution so this is crystallization method okay so this was all about the physical and chemical changes